My morning started at 4.30 as I always try to make sure to be awake three hours before the start. And yeah, it's just important to give the body enough time to be fully ready. This time I went for a little uh, warm-up run before the breakfast. It's the first time doing this. Uh, it's, yeah, it should accelerate the process of waking up and yeah, to be ready. I did a 10-minute warm-up run including some drills and strides and yeah, my legs felt ready and fit for the race. For my race morning I always have a, like a fixed schedule and fixed times where to go and when to leave. For my breakfast I prefer to have some white bread with some honey or Nutella and yeah, unfortunately as our luggage was a little bit limited for the flight I left my coffee equipment at the sunny coast and so a cup of tea had to do the job which hasn't I guess uh, and yeah so I prefer to take my time in the morning so everything is relaxed and calm to yeah to just arrive on time the bike check-in um, was mandatory the day before the race so I just brought my shoes and my helmet and my nutrition my plan was to consume 110 grams of carbs per hour on the bike so I was carrying three bottles of more than 320 which makes in total 240 grams and in case I would lose a bottle I put another 340 gram gels onto my bike. The morning was super cold and we had around 8 degrees and I didn't expect such freezing temps after spending almost 5 months in the heat of Noosa. So anyway on race morning I don't spend any thoughts about the conditions, temps or anything else. It is what it is and it's just uh, yeah, important to fully focus on the race. I did a proper warm-up swim for around 15 minutes in the water uh, as the water was way warmer than the temps outside so enjoyed my time in the water as it still was pretty dark there. After the warm-up swim I put on my jacket again because the temps were just uh, freezing and yeah to not uh, lose uh, any, yeah, any energy before a race also important to put on your shoes. Um, because you yeah, mainly lose also some uh, energy on your feet. Because of the low tide, the organizer decided to switch from a beach start into an in water start, which means you are lined up in one row in the water and then yeah, you go for it. My tactic for the swim was pretty clear to go all in on the swim to be able like it's crucial to exit the water in a group on such a pan flat bike course like in Geelong and I definitely um, yeah, leveled up my swim game in the pool and so I was confident transferring these pool splits into the open water which was unfortunately yeah just not the case and after exiting the water um, yeah, not in the first group. I was really disappointed, and I really had to, f yeah, to focus again and to find new, yeah, new motivation. Um, yeah, how to conquer now the race because it was definitely not the position I wished for to came out of the water.
yeah, after the swim, already more or less over for me. And yeah, just tried to to bridge the gap early on the bike and to yeah to give everything you have. But yeah, just the the gap increased after the first t turn point and rally. And then you do just your own race and um, yeah, just take it how it is. And yeah, from there on, it was for me. Yeah, really disappointing uh, race and yeah, just happy to finish it and to to get it done. It was not a prime race, uh, still March and we are preparing for summer. And that's something I have to work on, like to transfer my pull splits into the open water and yeah, to show what I was training for and yeah, to keep up with uh, the front guys. And at the end, the race was disappointing for me after a good race in husky in uh, geelong um, was not the race i've wished for but yeah that's part of the journey and yeah we will see us on the next one mm -hmm.